I wish Senator Paul would show the respect to his colleagues to wear a mask when he's on the Senate floor. I ask unanimous consent that the subsequent votes be 10 minutes in duration. Is there objection? Mr. Ms. Madam President, reserving the right to object, I would like to ask Senator Paul in front of everybody to start wearing a mask on the Senate floor like the entire staff does all the time, particularly the staff that I appreciate now the presiding officer wearing a mask, but I wish Senator Paul would show the respect to his colleagues to wear a mask when he's on the Senate floor walking around and speaking. in March. In fact, when he was infected, as he was waiting for the, his results, he took a swim in the Senate swimming pool. How selfish, how rude to his colleagues. We have 11 million people in our country who have already had COVID. We should tell them to celebrate. We should tell them to throw away their masks, go to restaurants, live again, because these people are now immune. If the senator doesn't think he can be infected again with a variant, he's wrong. If he doesn't think he can give it to his colleagues, he's wrong. If he thinks he's making some sort of heroic libertarian uh, stand, he's wrong and just out and out selfish. He needs to do what we all do in the healthcare setting, which is wear a mask to protect yourself, protect your colleagues, and set an example. Lead. Be a leader. He's not being a leader. What a display of uh, arrogant ignorance. President. Senator from Ohio. I'd start by asking the presiding officer to please wear a mask as he speaks and people below him are, I can't tell you what to do, but I know that the behavior. I don't wear a mask when I'm speaking, like most senators. Well, I, most senators. So I'll, I'll, but I don't need your instruction from. Anybody. I know you don't need my instruction, but I, there clearly isn't much interest in this body in public health. We have a president who hasn't shown up at the coronavirus task force meeting in months. We have a majority leader that calls us back here to vote on an unqualified nominee and, and at the same time to vote for judge after judge after judge, exposing all the people who can't say anything, I understand, the people in front of you and the presiding officer, and expose all the staff here, and the, the majority leader just doesn't seem to care.